An Army veteran from Lamarck and his service dog are taking Facebook by storm by switching roles. Fox 26's Randy Wallace has this only on Fox report. One of these is a vet, one a service dog. You probably are guessing that this is the service dog. You might be wrong. The Facebook page is called Crowley Dickerson through the eyes of a service dog. People from all over the world are reading posts from Crowley's perspective. He's not always kind when talking about his human James. We're all a little broken, every one of us, and we're unique as individuals, but our problems and our struggles they are not so unique. Today's his birthday. Really? Yeah. James Dickerson suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. We saw and did some horrible things. That's what soldiers do. It's what Marines do. It's what sailors do. Those things affected me for the rest of my life. Why would I want to impart them to you? Hey, up. There you go. Having a pit bull for a service dog raises some eyebrows. I spend more time trying to prove, and I'm not the only one, that my dog is a service dog in the eyes of people in public, then I do just live in my life. I've been physically attacked. I've been verbally assaulted more than once. Um, I've had to have the police involved a few times. Some of the posts delve into some serious topics like suicide. I've been suicidal. I've tried all the escapes like everybody else. You know, there's not many things that I can honestly, as a good man, say that I didn't take a left on. Even though they're written by a dog, the posts are insightful, hopeful, relatable, and sometimes laugh out loud funny. 35,000 plus unread messages. I, I've opened and read and answered hundreds only. I don't know if I'll ever get through them. James's service dog before Crowley was also a pit named Rudy. Like so many other veterans, his service dog is James's lifeline. Dog spelled backwards is God. Well, you know, these guys really are angels. And I get the question all the time, what does he really do for you? I don't know if I'd be here, number one. Uh, to be honest, I'd have probably taken my life a long time ago had not had these dogs. If you want to follow Crawley's adventures, we've got a link for you on our website. Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.